Welcome back, everybody. Well, if we make it through this interview without laughing, it's really going to be trouble. I think that's all we did for the first. <laughs> see, I warned yeah, see? you. <laughs> At any rate, you know, we uh, interview uh, a lot of projects that are going on at the Franklin Community Center. Uh, they're not all community centers are created equal. You've heard me say that before. And Franklin really stands out. They do so much in the community. Well, we got wind of a project called the Go Green Community Build. And lo and behold, a couple of very, uh, one key company in the area, Chips Landscaping is involved and Franklin Community Center is involved. So I asked two people to join me today. We've got Carrie Cushing, who's actually the executive director of Franklin Community Center. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you for and having Sue me. And Sue Ann Dubois, <laughs> <laughs> who's the owner of Chips Landscaping. And if you know who they are for the last 21 years, the landscaping company located in Greenfield, right? That is correct, okay, yes. Okay, gotcha. So welcome, everybody. Thanks nice for to us. have you here. Yes. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Sue. Go Green Community Build. It was, it began in 2010, and it is a partnership with Coles Corporation nationally. They combine uh, Earth Day and uh, Volunteer Month, and they like to promote a community green project. Mm. Uh, and this year's beneficiary is the Franklin Community Center, the good folks there. Gotcha. It, we try to generate something that will be green sustainable, mm -hmm. perhaps teach some green concepts, mm, nice. um, and just enhance the overall community in some way, shape, or form. It is targeting a nonprofit. This year, three coal stores are partnering with us, Saratoga Springs, Clifton Park, and Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Grant monies go towards the construction of a green space in the city. Now, there was a particular need here, Carrie, right? Yes. Um, uh, last time Jamie was here, mm -hmm. hi, Jamie, <laughs> we were uh, talking about creating a separate entrance in the back for the food pantry and whatever. Uh, the community center gets a lot of traffic, and there's an issue there, right? Right. What is that issue? Well, as you mentioned, uh, we expanded our food pantry, and it's now in a different part of our building. Mm -hmm. um, historically, we used the front door where you go up the porch to the bright blue door. Now we'll be using um, the double doors in the addition of the building for deliveries. Mm -hmm. um, we've always had an issue there with drainage, uh, water pools there, so in the spring it becomes a small lake, mm -hmm. and in the winter, it, not <laughs> even that small, <laughs> actually. It's a nice skating rink. Pond. And, yes, and then <laughs> yes, as rink. it gets cold, um, it sure. freezes up and becomes an ice skating rink. So um, it's an issue we've had for a long time. And coincidentally, Sue approached us um, about this great project. And it was by accident that it actually um, came to fruition when we mentioned it. And yes. Sue mm -hmm. is very creative and came up with um, this Don't way to help us. Don't you love it when assist. that happens? I love it when a plan comes together. Hey, you want to you know bet. something? I want it, without getting too factual here, uh, this project involves a certain amount of drainage mm -hmm. and a holding tank and waterfall and things like that, that uh, you really do create an environment here, don't you? We do. It's a, it's a, it's a, whole, it's a whole ecosystem where yeah. you resolve assist in resolving a problem, e.g. Right. The, the, the drainage, drainage problem. Um, you also create a tranquil, uh, sensory, um, beautiful space mm -hmm. um, that will enhance their uh, property there. Right. But also, we call it a, a non-traditional rainwater garden because it is not only a, a depressed area, you try to pool some of the water with mm -hmm. plants and stone and things like that, but we literally do an underground cistern yes, right. that collects. This one will collect over 300 gallons of water and wow. reuse mm -hmm. in a water feature. Now, in the water feature, you know, you're kind of used to a traditional, maybe a waterfall or something. Oh, by the way, there's an example of this at National Museum of Dance, right? Right out front. Have you ever seen that big, beautiful mm. space right around the circle there? They, they created that. Um, so you gather the water, you come back, uh, it feeds the plants that you put in there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of native plants, Correct. but also something that we were talking about before we yes. went on air, that the plants bloom at different times during the year, so there's always color. Uh, they're sensory, mm -hmm. right? The smells at the different time of the year. Sure. And of course, attract the wildlife. Cool. And when we say wildlife, um, with the inordinate amount of brick and mortar in town, mm -hmm. um, you don't have a lot of opportunities for the birds and the butterflies mm -hmm. and the pollinators to come in and do their job in nature. Mm -hmm. So this little green space is a way to kind of promote that. 
And of course, there's a lot of tranquility involved with this, and every and our community center sees a lot of traffic, right? I mean, all okay. kinds of people coming in, all different times of day, families and whatnot. So here's a, a place where they can go, relax a little bit, be a little bit reflective, a little tranquil. Great place for the kids to come, right. mm -hmm. and once again, just expanding the whole sense of what Franklin Community Center does. But thanks to you and Chips Landscaping, you're going to make this project and possible. And Coles, you bet. Yeah, that's terrific. Yeah. So thanks a lot for coming in and telling us about it. Now, you might be saying, what do you want to do? Well, you can always contribute to the Franklin Community Center. I have my favorite project, which is Project Lift for after-school children. But there's a lot of very interesting things going on there. It's a nonprofit, and they always need your help. So, uh, and come over and watch the build. It's this weekend, right? right. It is this Saturday from 9 to 2. Great. Okay, so volunteer. Go over, right? You bet. <laughs> okay, thanks again for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.